What up my dudes and welcome back to another movie Monday. So today I'm talking about this little movie I found streaming on Tubi TV. It is an Irish horror movie, okay? And this movie literally, um, I don't want to say blew me away, but it made me so happy because how good is it to watch a newer horror film and actually be freaked out and actually be like intrigued by the premise? Mm, rare, right? So these guys really nailed it in terms of quality in terms of scares, in terms of the story even. So let's get to it. Nails. So it all starts off, you have this woman, she's jogging down the street. You can tell like, obviously this is some fit woman. Um, gets smacked by a car. Yeah, like freaking pet cemetery style, like literally catches you off guard. And she wakes up in her hospital bed, okay? She has like a tube in her throat, she can't speak. Um, basically like it's her, her husband, her daughter. Um, and so obviously they're visiting her and she's just like, she's unwell, right? Like she's super, like she basically died for, I think three minutes. Um, and obviously they revived her and she's just trying to recuperate. Now she's in this very old hospital that she clearly doesn't really like. And we wonder why? Well, a couple of nights go by, she's sleeping and kind of like Freddie, this thing comes into her dreams and literally like starts trying to choke her out and kill her. Okay terrifying um the demon itself uh so she freaks out she wakes up and just trying to communicate this to like her male nurse and like the dude is super he's a super likable character um and he's just like i don't know what you're talking about like i didn't see anybody here and she's like hey somebody please install cameras like this is crazy goes to bed again similar type thing happens and she's like i swear to god somebody keeps getting in my room she's trying to bring this up to her husband the doctors are like oh maybe we should up her meds you know like Tends to happen with trauma. People start like seeing things. Hmm. Okay. She's clearly not seeing things. Like there's some real shit going on. So there's also this really creepy cupboard in her room. It's like this beautiful antique Coke cupboard, I guess you'd call it. Um, and like you see it kind of open once or twice. So you're just like, what's going on, right? Another day's go day goes by and a similar thing happens. So you start finding out that there was this older gentleman who used to be a part of this hospital. Um, he actually attended it like years and years back. Um, and he eventually got better, wanted to work at the hospital. And as he was working at the hospital, he was basically sticking around the kids. Yeah. And he had this obsession with nails. So he would go around, help clip the kids' nails, put them into envelopes with their names on them and keep them. Okay. Now, the hospital people are like, we didn't think anything of it. Like, it was just like his weird little obsession, but he never did anything extreme until he did. And these kids started dying and he ends up committing suicide. What is happening? This guy, nicknamed Nails, is now haunting the shit out of her because that's the same room he offed himself in. Hoo-wee! Right? So crazy premise number one right like kudos to the writers for being so original about it um two the makeup is phenomenal like pff, like amazing effects makeup uh she's basically like she's super wounded right from like getting hit by a car and they go about it like it just in a real amazing practical way um so kudos to that makeup artist literally um but this movie was so unnerving, okay? I mean, was it the best thing I've seen in a long time? No, but I really feel like this movie deserves a buttload more of credit because have I ever heard of it? No. Have you guys ever heard of the movie called Nails? I'm gonna say probably not. I haven't even heard of it on Reddit. Nobody's talking about this. So I highly suggest you guys go and check out this movie. Again, it's streaming free right now on Tubi TV. It was literally like on top of it, I wore it with headphones. I was watching it while I was sculpting. And I think headphones just make all the difference sometimes. And this is a movie that the sound design was pretty damn good. There's a lot of jump scares and it's just terrifying. And like the demons themselves, super cool. I feel like they might be a tad CGI or I don't know if like they did an actual mask and then CGI'd it up regardless. I enjoyed it. Yeah. So I highly suggest you guys go check out this movie because again, like the lore behind it is terrifying. The ending was kind of weak. I'm not going to spoil anything, but even at that, 
they ran it through and I'm glad they ended it the way they ended it because I hate movies that try to like soften things. This isn't one of those. So definitely let me know your thoughts on this movie. Nails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I literally, guys, like I don't jump at movies. I, I feel like I'm numb after watching so many horror movies. I'm just kind of like numb to like jump scares and stuff. But I'm literally sitting here in the basement sculpting my monsters like, ah! <laughs> it was one of those. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. And guys, if you're not, yo, get on that. Be a part of the fam. And I will see you guys again for a little hump day horror this week. Bye.